So I bought two sets of matched EL84 output tubes from a major European electronic supplier, Konrad, mostly based in Germany. Uh, they got here very fast, within uh, like 48 hours. The ones to the left, these, this match set, cost me almost 25 euros, 24.6 euros. The one on the right here cost me uh, 32, almost 32 euros. Um, they both have writing on the case and they indicate 24 milliamps. Well, this one only indicates like 13 milliamps. Okay, let's have a closer look at the tubes when we take them out of the package. For the expensive stuff, we can already tell it says here by BTB Germany. BTB Germany. Yeah, well. But on the top of the case, we see some lettering which may be ancient German, but I tend to think it's Chinese. If we take the expensive tube out of the case, uh, we see it just got the same logo, kind of cheap designed logo I tend to think uh, on the tube and for the rest there's nothing on the tube except some glue from stickering maybe here that means they deselect the tubes and put some stickers on them it looks brand new okay here's a tube from the cheaper set 25 euro set it also says EL84 6BQ5 RSD as I was on the case and but if we turn this tube around we can maybe see something else right there it says C C C P with a star and there it says 6 pi 14 pi and here it even says 70 5 76 this is a Russian tube. This is new old stock that's been rebranded by this company. And if we uh, look at the case, at least it's got some cool lettering on it. Wait. I'm trying to get a better focus here. You can see the old lettering, which has not been taken off completely, but these are old Russian tubes and old Russian stock. You can also tell that the construction of these tubes is different if you look at the getter cap at the top. Uh, it's hard to see it, but this is a Chinese tube with a different getter construction over there. This is old. But this was a cheaper one, okay? Here's a set of, of soft tags I purchased a while back um, from a from a music store. In fact, you can see the uh, 18 amps, which is somewhat comparable to the 13 amps we had on the cheaper tubes. It's Softec. It's made in Russia. And uh, just the price was, in fact, the same, almost the same. It was 24 euros 80. Well, so these are must be the same as uh, the cheaper tubes. As far as construction goes, these tubes are very, very similar. Just on the soft text, I cannot find any trace of old lettering that's maybe properly wiped out, wiped out this time. Um, but they look very, very similar. Also in the getter construction, so. And here again is an older uh, set that I found lying around, but maybe only the casing is important because we can read this is uh, JJ 
uh, JJ tubes and you can see the milliamp amps are comparable to what we got in the more expensive tubes uh, 24 milliamps which leads me to think that these also the JJ's are Chinese tubes but let's have a look so here's the JJ in comparison to the more expensive tube that I bought from Conrad and if you can tell the ghetto construction is exactly the same and it looks very very similar in construction so JJ is as is well known are also Chinese tubes I also have a bunch of old vintage tubes, EL84s, uh, Telefunken and uh, stuff like this, and Adzam, which is a Belgian tube, but um, which we will try also and compare to these new tubes and see how they match up and uh, which sounds best. Um, I will be using a single ended amp and uh, I might be using these uh, JJ, modern JJs as a preamp tube. Um, Maybe I can find a nice mini watt vintage preamp tube. We'll see. All right. Good job. There you go. Good.
Okay, short review, but I haven't really looked at the footage uh, I've, I've created, but most important thing was that one of these cheaper tubes, cheaper tubes, they're almost as expensive as a Softex, one of them was dead, absolutely dead. That sort of um, defeats the purpose of <laughs> buying cheaper tubes, I don't know if I'm going to send them back or not. With regard to the vintage stuff, the the Telefunk and the German tube so, and uh, the Dutch Philips sounded a bit woolier um, than the new tubes and maybe in that sense that's also a bit better. The last tube, the Belgian tube, sounded like a new tube, really. It was had a lot of definition like uh, these Chinese or like the better Softex. Uh, okay. Hope you enjoyed the review.